Hello everyone, my name is Andy Homily, and we are here at the home of uh, Ray and Leslie, a uh, home that we built more than 20 years ago. And it turns out I'm very excited about this because we talk about them often. In our office, we have mock-ups that uh, show how we build using trusses versus stick framing and how homes that are built like this can withstand 150 mile an hour winds versus 90 mile an hour winds for a typical home. And so I usually end my story by talking about this home in Platte City, where the tornado went through Parkville, Platte City, and pretty much, I think, had about a direct hit on this home, and it uh, held strong. I'm so excited because here we are today to uh, hear the story uh, right from them. Well, we took possession of the house on May 2nd, and uh, oh. moved in on the 3rd, and Is on the 4th. It was, it was that, you guys, it was just a few days? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. We I forgot that. In. We were, we were moving in. We were carrying stuff in. We had oh my boxes gosh. full of stuff, still hanging up stuff on the walls and so on. Yeah. And then we heard a tornado siren go off, and like fools, we all ran out on the porch and looked around. <laughs> right. So us and our four daughters, we all went out and we all looked at it. And saying, oh, look, that's look, one. It's 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 one. Oh, look, I see another one. There's another one. <laughs> we could hear timber cracking, wood cracking, things smashing around. You know, we presumed really the house was being destroyed above us. <laughs> and we're only hoping and praying that the basement would hold. And we were faced with this just huge destruction all around us. It blew up buildings all around us, barns and so on, all the way around us went to pieces, cinders. The cars out in the parking lot got moved around. We had a horse blow over two pastures. You'd go out and look at the houses, and there were a lot less trees then. Mm -hmm. You can see houses here and there all around us, and they had roofs missing. Some of them were just caved in all the way around. Wow. And we looked at our house, and all we lost were some shingles on the roof and, and some flashing. Fantastic. And we had experts come and look at it, and they said the same thing. This house is in great shape. You know, many years later, we had a, a, a energy audit, and yeah. they did a thing where they pump air into the house yes, to yes. see how tight it is. He said, as I was driving up your driveway and saw your house, I knew there was nothing for me to do, because <laughs> I knew how much you used, and I could see how large your house is, and I thought, that house is tight. He said, this house oh, is nice. tight as a drum. Yeah. So this is one of the house, tightest houses you ever saw. Fantastic. So we were very grateful for Trust Construction on that day because yes. if we had been in a steakhouse, I'm sure we'd have been in a world of trouble. Uh, it's so nice you guys to do this. Yeah. Oh, it's our pleasure. And we yeah. you know, really do support our company. We tell everybody about it because we think it's a good deal. Well, Same. thank you. Thank you. That's, uh, that's so great to hear. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job, Pop. You were really the one who built this. Every house has a story. Yeah, yeah. This one just has an amazing story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>